Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a really really long time since I did a proper big fashion haul video. So today I have sort of overcompensated for that and I have a gigantic fashion haul featuring some clothes, some shoes, a watch, spectacles and there's even a giveaway for you guys. I know before I start that this is going to be a really long video. So I think you guys should pick either a hot beverage of your choice or a cold beverage of your choice and a snack or something and just sit down and chill and watch this video whenever you're free and I hope you enjoy it. I am going to start with one of the most exciting things first and that is my brand new Jord watch. If you're subscribed to my vlog channel, you might have already seen this watch on the day that I received it. Basically Jord is this American brand of watches and what makes this brand really unique is that they make all their watches out of wood. This is my second Jord watch. Like how cool is this box? The previous Jord watch that I have also came in a wooden box but they've made it even more like luxurious and there's this little drawer in the front which I almost did not notice for a while. I made a watch collection video maybe around two years ago in which I featured my previous Jord watch. So they have a few different ranges of watches and each watch is made from a different kind of wood. My first Jord watch is the Cora in purple heart wood which is really unique and that watch is not available anymore which makes me think I have sort of a limited edition. So this time I decided to get another Cora watch only but this is the Cora Koa watch in rose gold. So almost all of the watch including the links and everything are made completely out of wood and it's just the face as well as the mechanisms and like the clip that's made of metal. When you're buying a Jord watch, you can get it sized exactly to your wrist size. You just need to measure your wrist. So mine already came sized and I have the extra links that came in this little baggie in case I ever want to reattach them. In case your watch doesn't come sized also, you can get it done at any local jeweler. It clips on really nicely and it's very easy to put on even one-handed because I sometimes find myself fumbling when I'm putting on a new watch. It's very easy to remove it. You just press the clips and it comes off. I purposely kept mine a little bit loose because I feel this kind of watch looks better as a bracelet. I love, love, love the rose gold face. It's a little bit pink and it's really pretty. If you see the wood surrounding the face of the watch is a little bit darker but most of the links are a lighter wood. I think this shade of wood, sort of a beigey nude colour, it's basically a neutral so it'll go with almost any coloured outfit and it's great for daily wear. One of the most unique and beautiful things I think of the Cora series is that you can actually see the internal mechanisms by looking at the back of the watch. You can see the gears and everything. This is supposed to be um, a winding type of watch so you don't put a battery in it but you do need to wind it up for it to function. So it does need to be wound every 36 hours or it would stop working. If like me you don't tend to wear the same watch every day you just need to remember to quickly wind it up and set the time before you leave your house and that literally takes like two minutes once you know how to do it. Now for the really exciting part there's a giveaway on and one of you guys are going to win a Jord watch from me and Jord, they partnered with me very sweetly. If you'd like to enter into the giveaway, please press the link which is in the description box down below and you can just enter, it'll take two minutes of your time and yeah, good luck for that. The next thing that I'm featuring is a pair of spectacles that I have been wearing for quite a while now. It is these glasses from Fermu and I've worn them in many Instagram posts and a lot of you guys have been asking me where I got these glasses from. These are my first pair of glasses from Fermu and I really wanted to know that the quality is up to the mark before I featured them anywhere on social media because they were very very affordable. So I was skeptical like at this price it looks good online but will it also be good to wear and will it stand up to rough use and stuff but I'm happy to say that these glasses have not disappointed me one bit and I'm very very pleased with them. So Fermu is like a Chinese website where you can get a lot of different things uh, eyewear related whether they are spectacles or sunglasses or even kids glasses and you can get them numbered or not numbered. I actually have a number because I've had spectacles since I was very young and so my glasses are numbered, they're not just for style. I think they look really stylish, but they also help me see better, which is 
the best thing ever. It also came in this really nice hard case which has sort of a matte print on the outside. So right now Fermu is running this buy one get one free offer which also I'm going to link below wherein you can pick out two pairs of spectacles from that page and you can just pay for one of them. The spectacles that I have are also anti-glare so you might see a little reflection in them but that's just because I'm in front of a gigantic window filming but most of the time I even take selfies in these and there's no shine over my face which is something that's really nice. I really like this round spectacle shape all of my Ray-Ban sunglasses also are round or at least the ones that I wear the most are round and I wanted to buy these type of eyeglasses from Ray-Ban but they were really expensive. They were costing something like 6000 and I didn't want to spend that much on a pair of spectacles as I make really rough use of them and I got this so much cheaper so I'm very very pleased with them. And I'm very happy to recommend them. I've been wearing them non-stop and even though they may feel light, they hold up absolutely well and there's no dents or dings or bends anywhere on them and I also make sure to carry them in the case. Shipping is free but it does take a little time. You can choose to pay for quicker shipping but I just went with the free shipping. Now that that's over, I'm going to show you two pair of shoes that I've bought recently. Uh, these are from Puma and these are actually the same shoe but in different colors because I'm a little bit crazy like that. I've never thought of Puma as a really good brand for athleisure shoes before. I know they make good sports shoes like for running or for the gym. My gym shoes are Puma but when it comes to the stylish sporty shoes that you wear for fashion, Puma was not on my radar but ever since Rihanna took over as creative director or whatever I think that they've been knocking it out of the park with some crazy styles and if you've seen the Fenty by Rihanna platforms I think the Puma Wiki platform is slightly similar to that this is what it looks like this is real suede by the way and it has a little platform maybe it's about one inch or a little more than an inch but it gives you that height boost I really like the suede heart sneakers that they came out with also which were light pink but at the end of the day I know I'm not clean enough to sustain light pink sneakers for long and I know that Mumbai is a dirty city and I'm just a slightly grubby person and those light pink shoes would be looking really untidy in no time so I ended up going for this color sneaker this is like a dark pink I think they call it rose violet or something like that. yes it's rose violet it's kind of hard to describe this color i think you should be seeing it accurately but it's sort of a bright hot pink that's also a little bit purplish so i think rose violet describes it perfectly and these are really really comfortable not just good looking they have something called the soft foam comfort insert so it's like this orthopedic insole which doesn't sound nice but it feels so nice it feels really really soft if you've ever worn converse sneakers you will know that though they may look stylish from the outside they are one of the most uncomfortable sneakers ever made but when you put these on it's as if you're walking on clouds and it's just the best thing ever i think these are my first pair of sneakers with a gum sole which is this color sole it's very sporty looking and totally in right now i've already worn these sneakers a few times and I like them so I decided to pick up the blue version also but I have not worn the blue version yet so this is the dark blue version of the same sneaker I think the blue version will be more versatile because I just have a lot more denim in my wardrobe this would work better as a sort of a neutral that goes on almost anything I still haven't taken out the stuffing from these but since this is the exact same sneaker in the exact same size, I think it's going to be perfect for me. I am a UK4 by the way, in case you're curious and I bought both of these online. I don't think I've bought any shoes in a store in like forever. I just tend to buy everything online because in case the size is bad or something, I can always return it. But I don't think I've ever returned a pair of shoes either because I just know what my size is. The next thing I'm going to show you guys um, are these pair of actually these are two pairs here uh, fishnet stockings I don't know why I took so long to think of that they are from H&M basically I always wanted a pair of 
uh, fishnet socks because they look so stylish with sneakers like if you go on google and just google fishnet socks and vans you'll see how good they look fishnet stockings and fishnet socks were always considered something that was a little bit more dressy more evening and nighttime sort of look and sneakers are daytime but i think when you put them both together they work very very well now the only complaint that i have with these is that the elastic here kind of isn't that strong so the socks kind of fall down really soon and that can be annoying because you feel like pulling them up all the time and they keep on going down all the time and that gives me a bad flashback to my school days sometimes because <laughs> you know socks do that on the whole but yeah these are really nice and i have to thank debashree actually because i saw them on her instagram and she tipped me off that they are available in h&m so in case you have an h&m near you maybe you might want to go check them out but i'm really happy so one pack has two pairs in them but because i really like the trend i bought two packs which means four pairs and i've already worn them here and there now i'm going to show you guys a couple of things that i bought from zara these are the most recently purchased items in this haul so if you go to a zara near you they might still be available the first thing is this t-shirt that i picked up I think uh, this is yeah the Zara Traffala collection spring summer 2017 basically it's quite an oversized t-shirt very very soft and the highlight of them are these two like flame emojis what i like about these emojis is they land like right on your boobs <laughs> which i think looks kind of cool in a funny edgy kind of way like my mom is making faces at me right now because she's like i have no taste but the moment i saw this t-shirt i really really wanted it and i think this is perfect for an indian summer as well because the fabric is light and soft and these flames convey what the temperature is like this is just perfect i'm in love with it and i'm looking forward to like wear it some very really soon and the next thing that i picked up from zara are these pair of denim shorts uh, this is from the zara x what what is this Maui and Sons collection I was not familiar with this brand Maui and Sons but apparently there's some California based surfer kind of company so they had like a capsule collection in one part of the store and there were five or six pieces there I think Maui and Sons main logo is this sort of weird shark thing so the shark motif was on a lot of their clothes and even if you look at the shorts the main thing that attracted me to the pair is it's got this embroidered shark all over it in a few different colors and i thought it was something really unique i love denim shorts and i wear them all the time in summer i wear them in mumbai as well uh, in mumbai people stare so you need to have like a slightly more conservative pair but when i'm on vacation also i just always wear denim shorts and i didn't know whether i could just justify buying another pair but this one was unique and i don't have like really light colored denim shorts so that's the excuse that i used i also really really like the shape of this the silhouette because i love my mom jeans from top shop these are like mom denim shorts so the way they fall they're high waist and they have this laid back sort of cut they are not stretch and they don't like stick to you they're just sort of chilled out and nice i think the fact that they're not stretch means they'll have longer longevity in your closet also because stretch jeans lose their stretch after 3 4 years maybe but these can last forever if you take care of them this particular shorts runs really loose and though i'm usually a uk size 8 i actually sized down to a 6 because i wanted something like a little more fitted and it was like really loose tips for you in case you want to buy this for the final few things in this haul i'm going to show you the only fashion items that i picked up in my last bangkok trip in april i didn't really go there for shopping but we went to the markets and there were some nice things so when i saw something i like i did buy them the first of which is this like night suit basically that i've already worn some and i really really like it it's just very soft gray mal fabric a dark gray mal so this is the t-shirt and these are the shorts i think it's really cute because i don't get basic night shorts and top sets very easily and i always prefer shorts 
to pajamas pajamas work if you're in a very cold country or if you're in like cold hotel rooms or something but at home i'm just more comfortable in shorts that is why i pick these up and they've been serving me really nicely i got these in chatuchak market by the way which is this really big open market in bangkok that is open only on weekends the second fashion item that i picked up from chatuchak is kind of a weird piece i feel like when i first started my fashion blog back in 2010 and i was sharing my personal style i had more of this bohemian hippie sort of look i don't really dress like that most of the time right now but this is something that i would have loved then but when i saw it it just totally attracted me and it's not going to fit in the frame in any way it's this gigantic maxi denim dress this is basically like what it looks like and what makes this unique is the flower and leaf detailing that you see on it is all hand painted so even the guy who was trying to sell it to us he was telling us that every piece in his store is one of a kind he had overalls and stuff which were all hand painted and so it was something pretty unique something that you won't get everywhere the dress has sort of a tank top shape on the top and it tapers down it's really wide and for me it's just the perfect length where it hits my ankles and stuff but it does not sweep the floor so i turned out lucky with the length like that because i'm kind of short and whenever i buy maxi clothes they usually sweep the floor so i avoid them altogether the fabric of this is like a really thick tough denim it's something different that much i can say i feel like if i take in the bottom of the armholes like if i stitch them or let's be realistic if i give them to a tailor the dress is going to fall a little better on this part but overall it's still pretty nice and we didn't bargain much for this dress we probably could have but i took it to think that we are supporting an artist and he's creating a unique piece of fashion and so that was the reasoning behind buying this dress the last three things that i'm going to show you were all bought from rachada train market which is like my favorite night market in bangkok you get some really unique things in that market you also get so many makeup fakes it's so cringy because there were like huda beauty fakes there were nars makeup fakes there was like mac and kylie lip kits so that was weird but the clothes were really nice first thing that i picked up is this sort of woolly knit top which has an embroidered grumpy cat on it so we were a little bit worried that this would not fit me because it's quite small looking it does fit it stretches a fair amount as you can see i feel mildly uncomfortable when i wear it though because it's so fitted and it just it totally sticks to my entire body i'm just not used to that and i prefer slightly more laid back tops but i really like the color it is that millennial pink color so my generation should love it and it's a nice soft fabric as well so i think it will be really nice to wear especially when it gets a teeny bit colder like not in summer but otherwise it looks good and then i picked up two like midi sort of t-shirt dresses from the same stall the first one has sleeves and it's sort of this really dark gray and it has the word awesome on it with these little rays below i like that this is a super light fabric and it's a nice length and everything but after i tried on this dress when i came back like because there wasn't any place to try it on at the market i saw that it's a little bit like sticky on my body again it's not bad but it kind of clings to my problem areas like if you have a little bit of a ponch like me it will show in this dress but otherwise it's a pretty nice one and since it's a light fabric i think it's a great layering piece the next dress bought from the same stall is sleeveless it's also kind of millennial pink they're the really similar color this dusty sort of blush pink this one has meow written on the front of it with a little cat in the m i really like this as soon as i saw it and when i tried it on it fit me even better i like that it has sort of this laid back feel like it, it's reasonably fitted but at the same time it does not cling to my body and it falls really nicely this to me is the perfect dress and i've already worn it for like one event which you would have seen if you watch my blog channel when i went to delhi i wore this for the tech event i really really like it and i'm pleased that i bought it the final final thing that 
I picked up and I almost forgot to show this are these pair of joggers that I picked up in the mall just beside Ratchada train market I don't know what mall that was Esplanade mall or something right yes it was called Esplanade mall and what it was it was basically like roadside stalls only that sell cheap fashion items in Bangkok except it was in an air-conditioned building so that was even better and I wasn't even going to buy anything but then I saw these joggers and they looked super cute mainly because of these this bear or whatever this creature is it falls around your knee it's a really really comfortable piece however it is a little bit tighter than I would prefer my joggers to be I think I'm a little tall for it as well so it goes slightly above my ankles but I like it it's really nice and cute and you can wear these as pajamas you can wear them when you're just out and about and feeling lazy you can even kind of wear these to the gym I think they would they would be okay yeah I'm not really strict with what I wear to the gym as long as I go so with that we come to the end of this haul I hope you enjoyed all of the things that I bought let me know what was your favorite and do not forget to enter the George watch giveaway because I think that's something really cool and you wouldn't want to miss that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye